Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got something which one I've been asked very often on my videos about the Jellos update. The people who updated the Jellos to the newest one, they haven't seen games after that, like that. Say, so what's going on? What's happened? It's very simple solution, but many people don't know about that because it was quite silly why they change the folder structure. What's happening up to December, everything which one was uh, on your games card was different than is now. Is the one step which one you need to do to see games again on your console. But you need PC to do these changes. I'm going to show you now on my PC what you have to do. First things, just remove your games card which one you've got on TF2 slot and you have to plug in by micro SD reader to your computer and you have to do just one step which I'm going to show you now. Okay, let's come to my PC now and just watch what you have to do to make the games visible again. It's about every single device which one have Jellos, which one have previous versions before December 2023 and now just updated to the newest ones or newer than December one. And yeah, let's go guys. Okay, we are on PC now. I put my micro SD to card reader and connect to my PC. And this is the drive which one I've got. This is the games card. This example of the games card, yeah? Everyone will have exactly the same what I've got when they're using all the Jellos. Yeah, you've got just all these folders with your emulators, games and everything. The simple step which one you have to do, just put the new folder and you have to name ROMs. That's it, ROMs. Not big letters, just like that, ROMs. Click enter. We've got ROMs now. <clears throat> what we're gonna do? We're gonna drag all this, uh, all these folders. Which one we've got on the root folder to ROMs? Just remove that. Yeah. Go to ROMs folder. We have to highlight that all these folders, uh, apart ROMs folder, of course, and drag everything to ROMs folder. Okay. It's too. Okay, we've got that ROMs. Gonna take everything until the bottom. That's everything. Cut. Go here and paste. It depends how many games you've got and how big is your card. That's how long it's gonna be. At this moment, at this moment, guys, we're going up. Root folder have just ROMs folder, nothing else. Everything what we had before on the root folder is inside the ROMs. That's what we have to do. And now you will see your system will see all the emulators like before. We're going back. That's my micro SD reader. I'm taking off this card. Close the system, shut down, yes, put that micro SD back, always wrong one, <laughs> okay, let me plug that in, then turn on device again. Sorry for my screen. As you see, now everything is, is like meant to be. What the fuck? I don't have so many games on this card. That's why it's just showing me the games which one I got downloaded. As you see, we've got some PSP here. 
Uh, this card have just PSP for me because I've used this to record PSP games. I don't have any more. But as I'm saying, as you see, it's visible at this moment. And yeah, no problem at all, guys. Yeah, just remember, you just need to create ROMs folder and just cut everything from root and just drag everything to the rooms, uh, ROMs folder. And this will work just like meant to be. Thank you for your attention, guys. And have a great day. See you in the next video.